Hello, lovely. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. So, I'm Dr Nicola, and I'm going to be examining your skin today. Thank you. Before I get into the examination, do you have any concerns at the moment? Um, just a few blemishes and dry skin. Okay. Do you normally have dry skin? Mm -hmm. Do you find it gets worse? Which I don't know. Winter, yeah. And more blemishes do. I have more during the winter. Okay. So you've noticed that they start to come out. Do you have anything on your face today? No. Okay, good. Are you ready for me to begin? I am. Okay. So, I'm just going to feel your skin's texture. slightly, so I'd say that your skin is quite dry. So I'll keep my forehead. A tad greasy there, but you've got your hair down, so it's understandable. I do tend to get greasy there. Already on my forehead. Yeah. So your T zone. Mm -hmm. You have a couple of enlarged pores on the chin and some blackheads there too. They look quite on the surface though, so you could probably remove those quite easily. So I can see you've got a red lump here, which is obviously a breakout. Mm -hmm. And it is quite inflamed, but it hasn't got a white head. This is probably more of what we call a papule rather than a pustule. If it had a white head, then it would be like a pustule. And I'm guessing it's quite sore. Mm -hmm. It doesn't appear that you've got any other spots under the surface, which is good. But if we can remove, obviously, these blackheads, that will help, because if we keep them there, they could develop into a spot. Right. Are you exfoliating? Yeah. You are. How many times a week? Just once. Please, that skincare you advised. I know you're getting on alright with that. Good. I can feel some lumps under the surface. Because when I touch, you can feel bumps, so you can't actually see any breakouts, but they're definitely somewhere under there. So I wouldn't be surprised if you do end up having a few others come out. Okay. But they might just vanish. Okay, tilt your head. So your cheeks look 
quite hydrated. They are a bit red though. Have you found now it's getting cooler that you are looking more red? Mm -hmm. And it's definitely dry here. Because you can see that it looks quite dry. And when you squeeze the lines that come, which are not fine lines, they are from mm. dryness. Sorry. I get a very red nose as well. Yeah, I can see it's going quite red here with some broken capillaries around the nose area. I'm guessing that your nose is more red this time of year. Yeah, apart from if it's sunburned. Yeah. And I'm guessing it's not sunburned at the moment. No. Yes, it's very it looks very tight where the redness is. A little bit of pigmentation there. Too many blackheads, maybe a couple here, but nothing too excessive, which is good. You'd notice she's just looking, it looks a little bit sore. I don't know whether it feels sore, or does it just feel tight? It doesn't feel tight either, it just gets red. Because it definitely looks tight, so when I'm squeezing and doing that, you can see it's like it sort of wants something to quench, oh. it, quench its thirst, if yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So it's possibly a little dehydration, but I think the way it feels, it feels a bit lumpy and a bit rough. So that is because of dryness, okay. which will be, could be from the wind, mm. the rain. I mean, are you outdoors a lot? Yeah, I go and do a lot of walking. Which is why this is looking quite red and quite irritated. Mm. Do you have quite sensitive skin? Very. Yeah, it's very dry in this section here. Cheeks feel okay, even though they are slightly red, but, you know, it's something too excessive. And you don't feel, when I'm rubbing, it, the gloves are not really getting stuck, whereas when I'm here, mm. can you feel the restriction? Mm. So now I've had the hair off your forehead, it doesn't feel as greasy. Mm. So that's caused obviously from a bit of sweat. I feel some little breakouts underneath the skin again. But if you are having a fringe and that's down in the sweat, that is very common to have. Mm. But when I'm rubbing like that, there is restriction. So your skin's quite dry on the forehead. So I can definitely see the dehydration lights when I go like this, and they are very broken, like this. So your forehead is lacking moisture. So even if you are getting the bit of a greasy forehead, it is quite common with people who have got dehydrated skin that in the afternoon, this kind of section gets a bit oily. Okay. It's not because it is actually oily, it is just your skin saying, give me that moisture. Yeah, okay. How can I improve that? Because I'm moisturised daily, like morning and night. Some of it is water. I do, I drink loads of So getting as much, but some of it as well is obviously a lot to do with the products that you are using. Mm. Um, and if you're outdoors a lot, I would suggest using more of a richer moisturiser like when you're outside. Okay. And making sure that you are hydrated as possible with the products that you are using. Um, so don't use too harsh products, especially if you have got sensitive skin. Um, 
and it's literally just about using stuff so face masks that have got moisture in them so you're looking for masks that say hydration on there or add moisture things like that and i would suggest somebody with your type of dryness i'd say you need to be using that twice a week and exfoliate twice a week so you would do so tonight for example you'd wash your face really thoroughly you know, rinse it all off then exfoliate Mm -hmm. Rinse it all off. Pat your face dry. You don't want to be roughing it, especially when you've got sensitive skin or it's quite dry. If you're going to be like that, you're going to make it dry and flake off, so you don't want to be doing that. So more patting or like a microfiber towel or something. Yeah. Then you want to pop on a mask. So a sheet mask would be nice to cover it up, leave it on for a good 15 minutes. Remove it. You can massage the serum into your face or if you want to you can remove it with cool water it's totally up to you but then you need to tone to close these mm -hmm. open pores up and then you would pop on like your eye cream a serum and then a moisturizer but my advice would be to use hyaluronic acid because that's what's going to really hydrate your skin mm -hmm. so this serum i would suggest you using is hyaluronic acid so do your eyes and then get some hyaluronic acids and then pat it in Okay. circle motions up then put a moisturiser on that makes sense yeah. that's going to help massively and it has to be a religious thing you do need to be using the serum twice a day, morning and night with an eye cream, morning and night yeah, yeah. Breakouts. I mean, when you're changing skincare or adding to it, you can get breakouts, so that is just normal. I might be swimming as well, you know, the chlorine. And that's going to dry out your skin massively. Mm -hmm. So, if you are going swimming a lot, that's a natural, it's going to naturally dry your skin out. Yeah. So, if you are going swimming, I would probably put on a really good moisturiser beforehand and then the day that you do go swimming I would suggest using a face mask Okay. That's good. okay. Um, because you want to put that moisture back in that the chlorine sucked yeah, out yeah. basically so your cheeks are really hydrated weird isn't it how some parts aren't and I think compared to when I've seen you before they're definitely a lot more hydrated than they were which mm. is good that's good it's working then yeah and obviously when you're going to go like this you're going to get some lines but the lines don't really start till about here which is where it feels excessively dry yeah and like you can feel like, and you can just see all the I little lines really that is the dryness mm -hmm. it's really quite dry actually mm. I won't be surprised like, if you do end up feeling a bit sore when it gets a bit colder yeah you don't... does it get worse in the winter though and you don't want to put anything too harsh on it either mm. you know, a bit of pigmentation but you're quite light skin, quite fair skin, so you're going to be quite prone to pigmentation. Mm. So looking at you, you are red in this area. Okay, and that's obviously where your face is taking the most dryness, which is very common because this is your centre of your face. Obviously, noses stick out, so that's obviously getting the wind and everything mm -hmm. more, where it sort of protects everywhere else, if that makes sense. And if this is actually covering your forehead, it is going to stop you from getting as much dryness there. But that's where you're lacking a lot of water your skin because you squeeze like that and you get all the little lines that you can see which they're not fine lines because they're a fine line is obvious mm. it 
should have started using an eye cream yet. Yeah, I'll do use one. How are you getting on with that? Not too bad, yeah. I don't know. I never see the difference though. I don't really see it dissolving. Depends what the eye cream is for. If it's gonna if it's for dark circles or puffiness or is it for fine lines? You need to figure yeah. out what kind yeah. of yeah. I just got a standard one because I don't really suffer with puffy eyes, but I know they needed hydrating, so I think I just got like a hydrating one. Yeah, so I definitely stick something like that. Maybe get some eye under eye patches that I've got hyaluronic acid in. Okay. So you can really pop them just there and leave them on for like 15 minutes, even a bit longer, and really get that hyaluronic acid pushed into your skin. If you've got maybe like a jade roller or something, you can get the small end and like rub it outwards in your eye, that's really going to help hydrate. So I think it's all about getting that moisture back into the skin. Because mm -hmm. literally, that's pretty much what's going on everywhere, to be honest. I mean, you've got really nice hydrated here, but then you're really struggling here. Here is quite high dehydrated as well, but here feels more drying. Whereas that is probably... If I'm going like that, I can see your skin's really getting stuck. And it's definitely a lot drier than when I saw you last. Okay. Right. Okay, so we don't have a lot of movement in the face, which is good but it's not really moving anywhere because it's so tight as well I'm going to get a couple of things just to see how this is When I'm going like that, your skin's starting to flake off. Which is when you know your skin is dry, so that's a dry effect, not a dehydrated effect. That's the difference. Like this, your skin's not flaking off, so that's more your dehydration. But that is more flaking, if that makes sense. more flaky with that again. Yeah, so when I'm going like that, it's really pulling on your skin and it makes it go all wrinkly mm -hmm. and then flaking slightly. So here you can see all the pigmentation and any skin damage underneath, but you can also see all the redness from where your skin is really dry. And then you can see all the little flaking of the skin as well, that's all on the skin which needs to be removed. And there again, and then when I look there you can sort of see all the blackheads. So my advice would be to make sure you're exfoliating this section well, but with more of a gentle exfoliator, nothing too rough. If you're going to be using, say, really grainy, you're going to really dry your skin more, but it's going to have a negative effect. There's a little bit of dead skin dotted around, but not really. It is literally just here, but that is going to have skin floating because you've got all that dryness. Okay. 
You've probably got some kind of fluid in that spot, but quite deep at the moment. So it hasn't got close enough to the surface of the skin to be able to release it, which is why it probably feels quite swollen and quite sore. Mm -hmm. Look. Yeah, so when you're doing that, I can see stuff in the centre of it. So at the moment, it hasn't shoved its way up. Have you got any um, patches? I've tried them stars. And uh, when it happened last time, it lasted months. And it mm. just will not come out. But I have tried them stars, but it just does seem to shift it. I think it depends, actually, how good the product is, whether it helps or not. You but know them yellow ones that you told me to get? I tried them. And it's still not working? No, nah, then um, I was put on the contraceptive pill. That got rid of it, and now it's back. And you're still on the pill? Mm -hmm. The thing is, with papules and nodules, they are like a hard lump. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily even develop pus or goo yeah. or anything like that. So it's something like that. A nodule will be a lot bigger, so that's probably more papule. Um, so I would persevere, maybe use some more of the spots, try to use like a salicylic acid spot cream or something like that to help reduce it. Mm -hmm. Then obviously make sure you are exfoliating twice a week, using a mask twice a week. I think that's the best okay. option to start doing. And if you are going out a lot, then I would suggest making sure that you do put on like a skin barrier or something. So use a nice thick moisturiser if you say going out um, or if you're going swimming, you know, and make sure that is covered up. There is some that you can get on like a skin barrier so that it's like a silicone base. So you can like apply that and it's like a environmental protector or you can get like a serum which it says environmental serum. They are to help with pollution, like chemicals, wind and stuff like that, and that will help protect your skin. So I'd look at something maybe, as well as the hyaluronic acid, something that targets the environment. You can get spray ones, you can get creams, get serums, something like that I think will help, especially now on through to mm -hmm. the spring. I think that's the best option. Um, so if I'd say keep using cleanser twice a day, if you can. Um, make sure we are, if, if, if you haven't got a toner, make sure you are using cold water to close those pores because otherwise we're going to get more blackheads. Then pop on your eye cream or eye serum, whatever you've got. Then you can pop on a hyaluronic acid or mm. environmental or both. Then finish off with a nice cream. You can get specific nighttime moisturisers because they're going to be richer and thicker. So I would recommend if you had one like that to use that so the day that you're swimming or the day that you're in the farm and use it in the day just because it's thick and going to give you a better barrier. Um, unless you can get a moisturiser which is for environment. I think you can, I can't remember the brand, um, but there is ones that you can get which are a moisturiser that are protective protect you from the sun damage, the wind and rain and things like that. Um, exfoliate, like I said, if you do it twice a week, but I don't want you to be using a rough grainy one because you're going to make your dryness worse. At that day you are using that, make sure you are using a moisturising mask or a hyaluronic acid one, one that states hydration, something like that. Leave it on for a good 15 minutes. Rinse it off or massage the serum in, it's totally up to you. Me personally, I don't like how it feels, so I'll rinse the serum off. But there's enough serum in there for you to use for a few days. Then, obviously, pop on obviously an eye cream just to help obviously hydrate. You really want one that's going to hydrate under your eyes more than you know, targeting anything in particular. Then, obviously, tone beforehand. So, exfoliate, mask, tone, eye cream, serum, or two serums, whichever. Then finish off with your moisturiser. So that's what I want you to continue to do and see if we can improve that. What I will do is I will write you all down a report and send it to you so you know what to follow. Um, but, yeah, that's it, really. I mean... 
I know you've got that little breakout, but it happens. Mm. You, do you know what I mean? I've had so many recently. Um, but I can just feel, obviously, in some pastes that underneath the skin. Mm -hmm. But I find sometimes as well with people, if their skin's quite dehydrated, they do tend to get some spots as well. So sometimes it is from that, not necessarily because you're experiencing acne or mm -hmm. whatever. So, yeah, if you could try for me and put something on the spot, one of those patches or something like that, make sure you do say one every day. You must leave it on for at least six hours or for overnight. Um, and you should notice the, the swelling to go or it will bring out any mm -hmm. pus. Um, if it doesn't, you might find that the red lump lasts a while. As mm -hmm. you can see with mine, I've had breakouts. They eventually go and just perseverance. If, you, if you're if using like a vitamin C or something like that serum, that's going to help reduce scarring. Mm -hmm. So it's that kind of thing, really. Yeah. But other than that, I feel like we're on a bit of a process and it's just a shame that the weather's changed and it's, you know, mm. been changed a bit of a pain. Yeah. So, do you have any questions? No, that's it, thank you. Wonderful. I will get the report done and send it over to you. Thank you very much. It's nice to see you again. And to you. You take care now. And to you. Bye-bye.